Hey folks, it is Amber Skill. Welcome back to another Wulong video. This video is for those who are new to the game genre or players who are having difficult time beating the game. Here are 5 things you need to consider during your fight encounters. However, we won't be talking about builds and stats but rather focusing on the how or strategy as hack slashing your way doesn't work on this type of game. I will also be taking up a no build virtue stat level 1 only challenge soon. So do catch my stream only at every scale. Check the socials on the description below. First one to consider is armor weight. This can be categorized into four agility ranks, which is A, B, C, and D, with A being the lightest. Agility stats tells you how light you are on your feet. This obviously varies depending on the weight of your gear. The greater your agility also means the less spirit is spent on martial arts. The lighter you are also affects your spirit recovery when it is on the negative. It also affects the distance of how far your dodge will be. So here is an example. Number 2. Understand weapon enemies or weapons in general. Especially to human enemies, for example, swords and staff are fast and close quarters builds. Spears are mid-range and are known for their piercing attack. Axe and hammers are slow but have devastating damage and mostly are overhead and require some charging. And some form of spinning attacks as well. Glaive or pole arms are a mix of spear and axe where it has some piercing and sweeping slash attacks. Once you've been exposed enough with these weapons, the enemy attacks becomes predictable. And this goes down now to how you react to counter them. Which gets us to number 3. When fighting a boss or a mob, depending on what weapon they use, it should give you an idea on the reach of the weapon. Getting used to these quote-unquote zones will help you with your timing when performing deflections, which greatly helps shapes down the enemy spirit gauge. Number 4 which is, I think, the most important discipline is to never button match. Button match? No, button match. Especially for those enemies who wear heavy armors because they do not flinch at all. You'll end up absorbing 100% of their attack when your attack animation has started. That could kill you, and if you're lucky, you might survive with 10% of health or even less. Lastly, number 5. Like other games that have elemental affinities there are elements that you that have a stronger damage take note of this as this could be a game changer i'm looking at you lubu so here it is wood beats earth earth beats water water beats fire fire beats metal and metal beats wood so if you are having difficulty reducing the spirit gauge of an enemy try using wizardry spells or weapons with imbued elemental affinity Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to be notified whenever I post a new video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, do leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And as always, I make an effort to respond from every comment. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitch for my stream gameplay and more updates and behind the scenes content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.